We'll guide you through how to set up a Fabric Minecraft server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Doing this is really cool because you can then go and make a server with Fabric mods. We'll guide you through how this can be done. To get started, let's come and come out of Minecraft. Here we are on my desktop, but go and open up a web browser of your choice. And we want to go and search for Minecraft Fabric, just like so, and come to the Fabric site. And what we can do is go and click download. We can just click download for Windows. And what we can also do is go and install the Fabric API while we're here, as we'll go and need it for the server. So we can then click files. And here we need to go and decide the version of Fabric we're gonna be installing this server for as well. So the main thing to think about is the mods you may be installing. If they're for a specific version, you should go and get that version for Fabric and therefore the API. In this case though, I just want the most up-to-date one. So I'll come to the right of the most up-to-date one and press download file and wait. In downloads, you can find the Fabric installer and double click it like so. At the top where it says client, you need to select server. Now what you need to do is select the version. We're doing 1.21.5 as that's the API I've got and we can choose the location. Press the three dots to the right here and I like to go and do this on my desktop. And you can then click the folder icon in the top right to create a new one. And we'll go and name this Fabric Server. Select it and you can press open and there it is. We can then go and press install and the process will begin. So what we can do is click download server.jar like that. And we can go and generate the launch scripts by pressing generate like so. And what you can then do is press done and we can go and close this. And on our desktop, we should go and have the Fabric Server. Open it up and here it is. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. I'll link them down below. Now with the method in this video, it's gonna be hosting the server on your computer. This means when you go and turn your computer off, the server goes off and people can't go and join it. And it also means you have to go and share your IP address, which isn't great for privacy concerns. The great thing about Apex is the server will be on 24 seven and you can get help anytime you need it. And also is they're gonna be using their own network, keeping the server DDoS protected and saving you from giving out your IP. So there'll be a link down below and you can get 30% off your first invoice. Now what we need to do is go and double click the fabric server launch.jar. What will happen is these files should go and start populating. Now, if nothing happens or something else happens and it's not right, this is because you don't have Java installed. So what we need to do is come and open up our web browser and you need to head to java.com. Here you can click download Java for desktops and you can then click download Java here and you can download it, then go and install it. We can then press back and we're also gonna get Java developer. So go and click developer downloads. We can get JDK 24, select windows and we can get the installer, download and install it, I already have it. And then once you've done that and you've gone and installed it, come back here and you want to go and find fabric server launch.jar, right click, hover over open with and you can select Java and it then should go and run without any problems and these will be generated. Then what you can do is go and open up the EULA you need to go and read this here. You can copy and paste this into a web browser. Make sure you agree to it. If you do, change the EULA to true from false. Press file and press save. And what you can then do is go and double click Fabric Server Launch again. As you can see, it's now running. What we can do though is come out of this. You come into server.properties and start changing different settings in here. And you can then come into the mods folder here. And what you can start doing is adding any mods. So what we can do is go and add the API, which we already downloaded. And of course I could then go and start adding more mods as long as they're for fabric and for 1.21.5 in our case here. So then what you can do is after you've done any installing, you need to go and relaunch the server. You can go and run the launch or the start.bat here. Now what we can do is come to Minecraft and click multiplayer, click add server, and you can then type in the address localhost as you're running it on your computer. Select it and press join server and we're now joined. And this is using Fabric. And so what you also need to do if you're playing with mods is to set the mod also needs to be installed in your client as well as the server. Now you're probably wondering how can your friends go and join this? Well, first of all, they'll need to go and have the same mods. After they've got the same mods, you'll need to go and do port forwarding. This basically means that they can go and join the server and you need to go into your router settings and go and set up the port. You then need to give them your IP address. The general rule is you should only give people your IP address who you'd invite around your house. 
we have got other methods on the channel, which you can go and check out. However, that is why using our sponsor Apex Hosting, who are linked down below, can be a great way as you then don't have to go and give out your IP address. And also it means that you don't have to go and leave your computer running the whole time as otherwise the server will go offline and people can't go and play. So if you want to get an Apex server, go and press get started like so. Now we can scroll down here and go and choose a plan. We can go and see the different amounts of RAM here. That's essentially the amount of resources for your server. You can go and use the calculator if you're unsure. Ultimately though, if you're gonna be using lots of mods, it's worth getting a high amount. It says eight gigabytes is for all more packs and 16 as well. Let's say I wanted to get eight, I could press order now. There are some different things you can choose here, but what we can do is change the server version. At the moment it's set to vanilla. If I click there, I could then go and type in fabric and go and select a fabric server here. The great thing about Apex is, is that in the panel, which I'll show you in a moment, is you can go and change this in the future to a different version. If I go and scroll down here, we can actually go and change the game file. At the moment, I've got a mod pack running. If I can go and type in fabric, for example, like so, choose the version, I'll press change version, and we can create a new world for it. And that's it. You've gone and got yourself a fabric server. 